Time for the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, the 26th of January. James Spann, really messy, nasty ice and snow events setting up for Interstate 40. That's Little Rock, Nashville late this week and just rain for the most part here but maybe some wintry issues before it's all over let's look at the sky cam shots and obviously today it's a pretty simple forecast beautiful that's a gulf shore sky cam from the top of the phoenix all suites looking back off to the west a cloudless sky on the sandy beaches of the alabama gulf coast on a midwinter day ah so nice up this way, that's the traffic on Highway 280. Not bad at early afternoon. That's from the Skycam on top of the Wingate Inn. And back down to Mobile, that's a Skycam. And uh, I think that's Dolphin Way Baptist Church in Mobile, just off Interstate 10. There's our trough over the east, helping to keep us rather chilly today. Another storm coming into California, and that'll be progressing ultimately into the deep south, causing some problems in a few days. Temperature is pretty cold up north. Readings hovering around zero over North Dakota and Minnesota. And down here, we are in the upper 40s and low 50s. Only 43 at Muscle Shoals and Haleyville at uh, 1 o'clock with Tuscaloosa at 53. The warm spots, Alexander City and Montgomery at 54. Precipitation for the next five days, valid through Sunday morning at 6 o'clock. Uh, 1.8 inches, the bullseye near Fort Payne. This is suggesting rain amounts of 1 to 2 inches for much of the state. And, man, that is going to be an ugly ice-snow event on the northern flank of all of that. And, again, the core problem area will be Interstate 40, Oklahoma City, Little Rock, Memphis, Nashville, maybe Knoxville. Uh, we'll go to the day three snow. I'm sorry, forget the snow first, convective outlook. Thunderstorm outlook. This is day three, which is Thursday. Slight risk of severe weather over parts of South Texas. Now, we don't expect any severe weather here, but uh, down there they could see a few issues. Now, the snow outlook for Thursday. That's the probability of four inches of snow, at least four inches. And again, you can see uh, Amarillo to Oklahoma City over to Tulsa. That's the big bullseye. And how about ice on day three? That's the uh, probability of at least... Uh, I'm sorry, I take that back. This is the chance of at least one foot of snow. Can you tell I've been uh, sleepless here lately? There could be some really big snow out there. That's the screaming message. And again, icing could be a problem as well. But let's get into modeling here. Now we can get back on track. Here we go. This is the uh, 12Z run valid at uh, noon tomorrow at 500 millibars. You can see the two distinct branches, the northern branch delivering the cold air around that vortex north of Minnesota, southern branch with a storm near Baja. Uh, the surface, we're in great shape tomorrow. Sunny here. Uh, we'll be in the mid-50s after a cold start. We'll start the day in the 20s. Thursday. Oh, you can just see how the players are coming together for this big snow ice thing across the Mid-South, north of Alabama. Trough to the west, polar vortex up north. There's your storm getting its act together over Texas and Oklahoma. And I'm afraid this might be enough to ice to bring down some power lines out there. Got friends or relatives in Oklahoma, Arkansas, tell them this looks pretty ugly. Now, what about us? Let's go to noon Friday. We'll walk you through this thing. Uh, the GFS uh, suggesting at noon Friday uh, we could be in the midst of some nasty uh, snow and ice over Arkansas and Tennessee, uh, rain moving into northwest Alabama. Now, initially, there could be some sleet, ice pellets mixed in with dry air, but it should go all rain. We'll go to 6 o'clock Friday evening. A good soaking, cool rain should be falling here. Uh, the uh, freeze line at 850, that's about 5,000 feet off the ground near Interstate 40. And again, Memphis, Nashville, Knoxville could be a very ugly, messy type setup with ice and snow there. Midnight Friday night. Now, this is where we're going to have to watch this. The surface low is down near at Dothan. And understand that's the freeze line at 5,000 feet, that blue line. But uh, this cold air initially is going to be shallow. And there's a very real chance, I think, that we could see a little window for a wintry mix down here as far south as Interstate 20 Friday night. No, not a major deal, not a prolonged setup. But uh, there's a chance the rain could change that wintry mix of sleet or snowflakes, even some freezing rain late Friday night into early Saturday morning. So we're going to have to watch that. And then 6 o'clock Saturday morning, surface low is located a little northeast of Charleston. And that would suggest the possibility of wraparound snow flurries around here Saturday morning. And then Saturday at noon, it's all over. It's going to be cold. Uh, we will not get out of the 30s. The wind chill index below freezing much of the day. We'll peek at some of the other models. The Canadian, this is valid at Saturday morning at uh, 6 o'clock. Very good consistency. 
Uh, some hint that maybe we'll see that change over to a wintry mix on the backside of this thing, but the biggest problems will be north. And the European, this is valid uh, Saturday morning at 6 o'clock, same time. European is slower, we note, with a surface load down there below Pensacola. And again, remember now, th this cold air is going to be shallow, and that that's close to icing right there across north Alabama, very close. So just be a watch for changes, but on this package, we've seen no reason to forecast any changes here. A soaking rain Friday, maybe changing to a wintry mix Friday night or Saturday morning before it all ends. Here's a look at the uh, DGEX snow accumulation chart right there. And uh, again, this is the uh, GFS with some extensions coming from the NAM, kind of a blend, if you will. And that shows the uh, big snow band. Uh, again, you can see how the Interstate 40 corridor just slammed Oklahoma City, Little Rock, Nashville, uh, even Knoxville, perhaps. So if you're traveling up there, be careful. And the GFS snow accumulation. Uh, the GFS a little farther north uh, uh, with this look. Uh, uh, and again, south of that heavy snow band, there's going to be some big icing problems. So uh, we're just, we're just going to stay just south of this one. Just keep in mind there could be some issues Friday night, Saturday morning. Don't think it will be major, but maybe a few. Sunday. It's going to be cold. We'll start the day around 20, warm up to near 50. Monday, we stay dry. Tuesday, yep, next system coming along in the southern branch. And Man, look at the northern branch. It's cold up there. Uh, that looks all wet. The uh, cold air moving more east and not south, so Tuesday of next week looking wet. And then Wednesday of next week, uh, that system is on by, but another one is back off to the southwest over Texas. You just get the idea. You, you wonder if we can make it through this month of February without some winter weather mischief down here with this dual jet stream thing going. Uh, the end of the forecast, this is the, or not the end of the forecast, this is three days later, four days later, the 7th of February. Look at the cold trough over the east. Very cold air on that look. Big time snows for New England. And this is the end of the forecast, the 11th. Energetic southern branch system just east of here. But no brutal Arctic air, and I think that's going to be the idea for next month. Not this long-lasting, brutal regime like we saw back in early January, but occasional shots of very cold air with an active southern branch, making it a very interesting month, I think. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see, all of the places close to me, they're all part of all the best things about home. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.